Membrane fusion events on intracellular membrane traffic pathways are closely controlled. Snare proteins form the minimal machinery, however, in living cells their activity is tightly regulated by a variety of other proteins, including tethering factors and sec one monk 18 like RSM proteins. We are interested in the fusion of membranes with the lysosome, the recycling center of the cell, and the role of the multi-subunit homotopic fusion and vacuole protein sorting, or HOPS complex. The HOPS complex has been first identified in yeast, where it has been most intensively studied. But HOPS is actually conserved across all eukaryotes, and in mammals this comprises six proteins shown here, each of which is named after their yeast homologs. In our paper we have assessed how all six human HOPS proteins affect delivery of endocytose cargo to the lysosome, and shown that all six are required. What we have also found is that the known interaction of the SM protein VPS33A with VPS16 is essential for HOPS function. This is particularly important as it provides a possible model for how other SM proteins may function together with tethering complexes to regulate membrane fusion events. For our study, we needed a way to quantify how different HOPS subunits affect endosome lysosome fusion. So we made use of an assay in which cultured HeLa cells endocytose a green fluorescent dextrin and we stained lysosomes with magic red, as you can see in this image. The magic red we used is a membrane permeable substrate for the acid hydrolase cathepsin B and it is non fluorescent until it gets cleaved by cathepsin B in active lysosomes. Once cleaved, magic red emits cresyl violet fluorescence. The co-localization of green fluorescent dextrin and magic red fluorescence can then be quantified in confocal images taken by live cell microscopy and shows how much of the green dextrin reaches the magic red positive lysosomes, thus serving as a measure of endosome lysosome fusion. Here we see the molecular surface of our structure of the complex between VPS33A in grey and the minimal region of VPS16 to which it binds in purple. If we peel apart the complex, like opening a book, we can see the residues that mediate the interaction are shown in darker color. And five residues which we have mutated for the functional analysis presented in our traffic paper are highlighted in orange. We found that depletion of each individual HOPS component caused the block and endosome lysosome fusion. The block and endosome lysosome fusion observed upon depletion of endogenous VPS16 or VPS33A could be rescued by the expression of the wild type proteins, but not by VPS16 or VPS33A mutants, where the binding interface between the two proteins was perturbed. This clearly shows the importance for the interaction of the SM protein VPS33A with the remainder of the HOPS complex in mediating endosome lysosome fusion. And we could also show that this interaction plays a very important role in the clearance of cytosolic material by a recycling process called autophagy. Together our experiments confirm that HOPS is essential for the fusion of vesicles with lysosomes. We have also been able to exclude a role of the VPS16 and VPS33A human paralogs in both this complex and the related Corvette complex. Corvette has been implicated in fusion events earlier in the endocytic pathway and it shares four core subunits with HOPS, but human Corvette has different accessory subunits having TGF-beta receptor associated protein 1 and VPS8. An open question in the field, which has been much debated, is whether human paralux of VPS16 and VPS33A, called Viper and VPS33B, can substitute for VPS16 or VPS33A in HOPS or Corvette or both, or whether they form an independent complex. Our study has given us a better understanding of how HOPS subunits affect membrane fusion in human cells. Our results are consistent with the whole HOPS complex being required for the fusion of lysosomes with endosomes and autophagosomes. We also showed that the interaction of the SM protein VPS33A with the remainder of the HOPS complex is essential for these fusion processes. This last point is important because we know that other intracellular membrane fusion events involve SM proteins that interact with tethering complexes. Our study therefore provides a template of how to exploit protein structure to probe the functional importance of interactions between SM proteins and tethering complexes. Further, we found that neither Viper nor VPS33B play a role in lysosomal fusion. This raises the very interesting question for the field of where Viper and VPS33B 
function in the endocytic pathway and what complex they act in.